Hey guys, this is Brendan Byrne with Nothing Hidden Ministries. I'm doing my last section of my question and answer on is masturbation wrong? Now if you missed my previous sections, go check them out. Um, but this section is going to be on asking the question, does masturbation actually prepare you well for intimacy or does it hinder you there? Um, and the first point I'm going to get to is, does it create selfishness or an atmosphere of giving in a relationship? Now. Um, when we masturbate, we're really taking care of our own needs and we're doing it apart from anyone else. We're just saying, I have this sexual desire, sexual drive, or um, whatever it is that's causing us to masturbate. I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it on my own. Now, the way God created sexuality is sex is meant to be, sex and sexuality is meant to be experienced with a person that you're in a committed covenantial relationship with. Something that is continually growing, evolving, and moving together. Now, when we masturbate, when we're single and we masturbate, we're training ourselves to view sexuality as a selfish act, a way I can get my own needs met, a way I can deal with whatever emotions or feeling I'm feeling. And yet, when you actually get into a real relationship, what's really needed is to learn how to give to one another, learn how to, to, to risk and experience one another. So we're actually creating an atmosphere that's going to hinder us in a real relationship. It's the same thing when you're uh, inside of marriage. If you use masturbation in marriage to take care of your own needs, you're really stealing something from your spouse. You're stealing, stealing your own drive to learn how to risk and grow in your sexual relationship. And you're taking something that's meant to be a gift for them, meant to be experienced with them, and you're just doing it on your own to, to fulfill your own needs. So there's the selfish side of it. Now, that's something that's hindering us and actually not doing well for us. But what are we missing out on? Um, when we really focus on learning how to give to one another, we start taking risks. Now, when you're single, that's going to be helpful in needing courage to go up and talk to a guy or go up and talk to a girl that you're interested in and being able to risk uh, sharing yourself, being open. All that's going to be helpful when you have a giving mentality with learning how to risk, learning how to, to share yourself openly. And in marriage, it's the same thing. You want to learn how to, you want to keep pursuing your spouse. You want to, you want to uh, pursue them, woo them sexually, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all these things. But if you're taking care of your own needs and being selfish, you're not going to have all the, the motivation, all the courage, everything you're going to need to really go after them and, and pursue them and love them well. So that's something else that we really want to get into a giving mindset instead of a selfish mindset. It creates the type of relationship that we want. Um, so that's really it for point three. You know, is this is masturbation really preparing you well for intimacy? And I, I, I believe it sets us up for more for selfishness than it does for giving. So I want you guys to ask yourself that. Uh, just a quick recap. First, first video, I had you ask yourself, is masturbation causing hiddenness and shame in your life? Second video, are you using masturbation to avoid dealing with pain? And this last one, is masturbation propelling you well for intimacy or hindering you for intimacy? And that's it for our uh, wrap up on masturbation. Hopefully that helps you guys out. And again, if you have questions, please message us on Facebook. See you next time.